Hi, today we will show you what you can do to treat jaw pain. Everyday stress, you know it, tension in the entire body, grinding teeth and then maybe waking up with a dull feeling in the head after sleep in the morning. Yes, that is the topic today. By the way, I am Dr. Petra Bracht. I am Roland Liebscher Bracht. And together we are Liebscher and Bracht. We will show you the three best exercises for jaw problems and also something very special. We'll start right away with the most important exercise. It's simply about opening the mouth because it stays closed too much. One does not open it enough. Many people complain with the dentist. A friend of ours is a dentist. He says people are able to open their mouths less and less. What is the reason? Everything is too tight and we want to change that. Many people can no longer bite an apple, for example, because their mouth simply does not open properly anymore. And now let's practice. You'll see how toothaches, jaw pains fade away the more you are able to open your mouth. So please, with your thumb, the right hand thumb, the left hand doesn't matter. And simply hook under the chin, so to speak. Tilt the head back slightly and then simply open the mouth as wide as possible. And when opening the mouth, make sure not to look too far forward. You'll soon understand why. And remember, when practicing at home, do the exercises for two to two and a half minutes so that nothing drips out. Or practice in the shower and tilt your head back a little. I can show that to Petra. So then everything is good. And first of all, it's about simply opening the mouth more and more for a while. And now inhale and exhale deeply. You inhale and while exhaling, the whole body relaxes a little. Also your jaw muscles. And that's why you use the exhale to simply open the mouth a little wider. Always forward. Always stay within the tolerable range of discomfort, I forgot to mention. So the pain threshold, the limit is when you can no longer just bear it well. Because a bit of stretching pain is good, we need that, but it must not be too strong. And then after two to two and a half minutes, close again. you will probably feel the face much more relaxed. Yes, it feels really good because something has already changed here. Don't you feel? It's a bit more liberating, I always find. For many, everyday life is stressful. And then, without even noticing, we grit our teeth to get through it. And that is exactly why there are so many people who also have jaw pain. Because as most of you know, too much tension brings pain along. And that's why we're going to do exercise number two right away. Please take the left index finger. The thumb can lie loosely next to it here. And then try to find the right edge of the mandible. This way. Then we take the left index finger practically along here so that we can pull the whole head over it. But we are not doing that now. We hold the head. We can even hold on a little tighter like this, a little exaggerated. You may take a finger to the forehead to make sure that the head does not move along. And now you open your mouth a little bit and pull the lower jaw to the left. And then it starts immediately, usually pulling to the right. Do you notice? And the head must not rotate with it. It must really stay completely straight. And I will let Petra practice now and explain. Then I can speak better. And now try more and more with the left hand to pull the lower jaw further to the left. Do it in a way that the pain that arises here is still bearable. Keep it up for two to two and a half minutes. And you may notice it only goes millimeter by millimeter, if at all. Rather half a millimeter to half a millimeter because everything is so tight there. And then slowly back again. And then we have to repeat the whole thing. Now I will show briefly how. Remember this. You take the right hand, place the thumb like this. And you go with your right hand to the left side of the jaw. Make sure that your head does not turn with it. And pull over. And another special trick. If you can hold your head stable and you notice you don't have enough strength in your arm, then you simply press additionally with the left hand. There you have even more power in the stretch. Now we continue with the third exercise. And indeed, we stretch the jaw backwards. 
So it's a bit strange, but it actually works. You now simply take your hand and hook it into your chin. And then you push your jaw back. Now I have to shut my mouth, Roland. I was just about to say one can do it like that. If you notice that you would rather grab with both hands, you may need the strength. Then you reach like this, open your mouth slightly, and now push back further and further. And since this is very difficult, help with the other hand. So, preliminary exercise would be, you can stay in the exercise, I will show the preliminary exercise. You simply let it pull back. By the muscle power of the muscles that are here in the face. And then you support that with your hands. Increase by two to two and a half minutes. And now something very special because it's all about opening the mouth. Increase the angle again. You just take it in between. I'll hand it over to you, then I can continue explaining. You know, we are married, that's why we can use the same one. No issue. You can also use a wine cork from a wine bottle instead. And you always cut it off in such a way that it creates exactly the right tension. And when you do that, there is still a side effect. I even use it in the videos we make here. When one relaxes the facial muscles, the jaw muscles, when one stretches them, one automatically has a friendlier face. And I always tend to, when I am concentrated, to look more unfriendly or evil. You're still practicing, right? Oh no, you were just about to say yes, you know that. And if you somehow give a presentation or if your teachers come into the classroom and want to be nice, they put the jaw hero in their mouth beforehand and they will come into the classroom completely differently and their good mood is contagious. A little trick in the handbag, so to speak. Exactly, that's how it really is with Roland, he does it like that. If you want to know exactly how it actually happens that we tense our jaw, you can find the explanatory video here. And if you want to know exactly how this temporomandibular joint problem arises, we have the explanatory video for you here. Then we say goodbye for today. Until next time, ciao. Yes, bye.